Yeah. Hey, hello, St. Paul. This is Alex Van Halen. And Edward Van Halen. And we're at KQRS this afternoon. All right, all right. Nice to be with you guys. You're in town. You were in town last night for a sold-out show at the yeah, St. Paul Civic we'll Center Theater. Right. St. Paul uh, Theater. Theater. <laughs> theater. For one more smash sold-out performance. We're gonna blow the roof off and make the uh, sunrise of the ninth encore. <laughs> yeah. How are you guys feeling after ten months of touring here? Uh, great. How do we look? <laughs> <laughs> You look healthy. You, you looked healthy the last time you were here. Well, that's our diet, you know. We, we subsist on a, a heavy diet of starchy foods, candy bars, and uh, a lot of Coca-Cola and <laughs> yeah, potato chips. That's that's the way to survive on the road. <laughs> on the road. Yeah, and no sleep, of course. Uh, you can't sleep, and don't take any vitamins, because otherwise you make it very <laughs> ill. That's the Van Halen World Vacation, number two. David's singing with... Uh, He's singing with a strep throat. A strep throat, yes. yes, that's pretty heavy. Well, in the five years that we've been together and uh, the extensive touring we've been doing, especially last year or this year, we've never missed a show, proud to say. No Not matter a single... how ill we were or, uh, or how healthy we were, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> never missed a show. Anyway. Where, do, where do the uh, shows originate from? Where are you guys from? Well, uh, let's see. Originally, Edward and I from Amsterdam, uh, Davis from Bloomington, Indiana, and Michael's from Chicago, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, <laughs> it started to, in California, yeah. though, right? Yeah. Right. We got together in California and uh, started, of course, at the local high school dances. Uh, Actually, in backyard parties. Yeah, backyard parties. We used uh, to set up a keg of beer, you know, charge a dollar, let the kids in. You know, we'd have a friend with, with a big house and uh, just let all the kids back. And then we moved the party in, indoors. We started to uh, rent our own halls. Do the exact same thing. Only instead of charging a dollar, we charge two fifty or three fifty. And uh, by the time we uh, got the record contract, we could draw three to five thousand people, and that was without a manager, without a label, without an agent, without anything. It was just Van Halen putting on their show in a hall. And uh, you know, sooner or later, the people from the record company were bound to notice, which they did. One night, we played in uh, a club in Hollywood. And Mo Austin and Ted Templeman came in and said, "Listen, look, at this, look these papers over, take your time, you know, and uh, see what you think." The next day we signed. And uh, hence yeah, Van. Very good. No. <laughs> uh, it was great. Oh, and yes. Van Halen One came out approximately how much longer after that? Well, I can't remember exactly after the signing of the uh, contract, but it was about three weeks in the making uh, because we record very pure. It's just like live, actually. We just take our stage equipment, set up in a big room, and play. And leave the technical aspect up to Ted. And he just puts the sound on the record and lets it flow over the sides and come out your ears and <laughs> out your nose. And anywhere else you'll take it. To the tune of 2.4 million copies sold on the first album alone. That has to be, you know, that's, that's stardom. I mean, that, that's... That's making it. Well, it's not starting. The way we, the way we think is that uh, if you do your thing and enough people like it, then they call you a star. See, we've been doing this for quite a number of years, and it's just uh, now that lots of people are starting to recognize it. And the reason I think is that because uh, there's a little bit of Van Halen in everybody. And we're here I to think just you're right. Bring it out. And we're here to bring it out. And so you how's it feel certainly to be a star do that. Now? <laughs> oh man! Wow, man! You know, hey, don't talk hey the second me. album, <laughs> the second album isn't doing too bad either. No, I mean, that's uh, one we, and a half now. We and recorded that one in six days, and on the seventh day we rested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, same concept. We went in, uh, took all our stage gear, and again just recorded straight ahead with a minimal of overdubs. It just went a lot faster because uh, the first album's you know the first time we've ever been in the studio. The second time just went a lot quicker both on Ted's part and our part. Right. One of our listeners called and said, hey, this uh, this is your first tour as a main act. Mm -hmm. how, does that, how does that feel, just to go right up there and, hey, well, I'm going well, to... Well, uh, what we did was all the money we, we made last year, we reinvested in bigger equipment, better equipment, all custom design and heavy-duty power eyes, you know, as... Uh, as You'll see tonight if you go see the show. See, every, um, everything you, you see, you'll see tonight is purely Van Halen. Like last year, you know, we had to use the other act, sound system and lighting, things like that. Now, you know, total freedom. You can do whatever we want to do. We have enough lights to light up a small city. I think. Yeah. Phoenix and New York City. Some small, ci <laughs> some small cities we play don't have enough power. So. Yeah. But uh, the lighting is very theatrical. Uh, I think we have a total of 390,000 watts of lighting. And, and it's, uh, it's theatrical lighting. It's not special effects, Yeah. really, you know. 
it's designed to lie to us. The four individuals in the band. It's not cosmic, you know, transcend uh, laser stuff like that. It's good beyond know. God stuff. I mean, it's stuff that focuses, focuses on us as opposed to, oh, wow, look up in the sky, look at the lights, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, in other words, you've taken, the, you've taken your sound and you've done a small hall kind of image, but you've incorporated a lot of big hall right. techniques. Right, I think this, we carry the sound and lights that we're carrying, most bands use it in uh, ten to 15,000 seat arenas. We're using it in three to 5,000 seaters. And uh, we're, we've been taking it all over the world. We're traveling with a crew of about 22 guys. We've got three gigantic semis, uh, two custom coaches that we travel <laughs> with, and uh, we're just covering the four corners of the globe. And so far, we've already finished uh, Europe, England, uh, Canada, U.S. Of course, we'll be going through the U.S. back and forth uh, for, you know, forever. The U.S. is the most <laughs> fun, of course. We'll be going to Japan, <laughs> Australia, New Zealand, uh, every South America, uh, you name it, we'll be there. You're gonna do it all over the world. That's gonna... everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't uh, hear of anybody coming away from your concerts with, you know, bad vibes. They, you know, everybody says, "Wow, these yeah, guys are great. really hot." Yeah, I think St. Paul is you know, great. Oh, well, you like this town, don't you? Oh yeah, I love it. You had a good time when you were here last year, although the concert was not well attended last year. And that, uh... Well, we weren't headlining. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, laugh. <laughs> yeah. But this year you are, and you've sold a lot of records, and you're getting a lot of airplay all over the country. Uh, does this tour feel a little bit different? Because you are, you know, you are headlining? It's or different it... in the fact that we can do uh, a longer show now. We can do all our material instead of just squeezing in three or four songs and then so off la stage. last year it was get a half an hour guys <laughs> you know go do it yeah. now we can do what we want to do and uh, have a great time and everybody's enjoying it you have an opening act uh screams, screams yeah Hi <laughs> <laughs> <All right>, guys <laughs> they're good friends of ours no they're a very good opening act uh, i'm not too familiar with their music but uh they're a brand new band i think they're from uh peoria, they from? peoria illinois yeah so they're uh, just starting, basically. Yeah, they're pretty much in the same position we were last year, except we're nicer guys to them than. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you about uh, uh, one of our listeners asked about your involvement with the audience and how David relates to the audience. Well, if you would stop to think about it, we're we, we're straight out of the audience. We used to, st as a matter of fact, we still do. Every chance we get, go see every band, even the ones we don't like, we see three or four different times because uh, that's just the way we are. We enjoy music. We a variety. Uh, plus, just go anywhere and everywhere you can to see music. Uh, I like to see jazz concerts sometimes. Sometimes I like uh, rock and roll. Maybe even... Punk? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you like dancing, go to a disco. Yeah. Really, a variety of things. And we just come straight out of the audience, as a matter of fact. And what we're doing on stage is what we would like to see on stage. Right. Basically, when we when we play, it's like uh, tonight it's at St. Paul Theater. It'll be 3,000 of our closest friends. Yeah, it's a celebration, you know, a good time. A summer celebration. Any time celebration, <laughs> anywhere. A, very, uh, a VH celebration. Very high, very happy. <laughs> <laughs>